I'm Crunchles. Welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, let's move this mouse pointer. There we go. So I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but I want to do something uh, before taking on the boss again. Because I do think this boss can be bled. What I want to do is I want to get the ember that allows me to upgrade to plus 15. Get the ember that allows me to upgrade weapons to 15. Then upgrade the Uchigatana. And, uh, you know, just see how that goes. Because right now, how much? How many chunks do I have? Four. That'll get me, I think, three levels. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now, I just need to remember where that ember is. I think it's in the early area. Uh, I know there's a firekeeper soul in the early area. I think the ember is too. I may be mistaken. If I'm mistaken, I'm sorry. <laughs> So with the water drained, this upper area looks a little different. Mainly that's because there's no water here anymore. So we can see basically the paths that we can take here. Like right here. There's a path. Some ghosts. Go. That's the Firekeeper soul. Oh, another ghost. Pick that up, yes. And this, yes. Alright. Now, Ember, Ember. Where is the Ember? I honestly don't have any idea. Hello. I don't know if I've ever noticed you before got some transient curses. Alright. Uh, shoot. To get the ember, but I don't know if it's down here. Like, this is a super shortcut to the bottom of New Londo. <clears throat> Um, but I don't know if the ember is down there, or somewhere up top. I don't know. Let's go down. Down? No? Is that just a... that's just death. Okay. Uh, this is a great place to farm, uh, farm these guys because, well, they drop chunks and very occasionally slabs. And, you know, those are really good if you want to get multiple weapons up to 15. Aha! This is it. Let's get over to some more solid footing. Attack. <laughs> At least I hope this is it. Please? No! It's just a chunk. Man. I thought I was being super clever too. Finding that. anything down there. There's another dark wraith down here. Hello. Oh 
oh no. I think that's it for over here. No, well, maybe not. Actually, I think this is the way back to that elevator we first took. Yeah, it is. Where is that ember? This is really bugging me that I can't remember. Um. Dang it. <laughs> I thought this would just be a, uh, a super quick expedition, but it's turning out to not be. Um, because I thought it would have been down one of those paths that we, uh, that we got to see after draining the water. Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep exploring. Uh, maybe... Okay, let's go back to where we would have started out the area. So, down here. And we'll just go through scouring the area for that ember. There's a dark wraith coming. Hey? Yes. Hello. <laughs> oh man. Parrying is so satisfying. So satisfying to parry. Let's see. Get some stairs. Someone really should clean up this place. I mean, honestly. I know it's like the apocalypse and everything, but come on, a little decency. Wraith. Three of left. Yeah, I hear you. Hello. Nope, too early. I put up my guard. <sighs> okay. Oh, I didn't rest at Firelink either, so that's going to be uh it's going to be a trip. We're back to Firelink, then we rest at Firelink. Which is doubly good because then we'll have 10 Estus instead of 5. Oh, speaking of Estus, picked up the uh, Firekeeper Soul. So let's place that. Or use that, rather. Thank you. I'm respecting your wishes. I'm not going to talk to her. Did I not send the elevator up again? I didn't. I'm a dummy. Big dummy. Doing the chrono trigger thing. Maybe if I circle this three times, I'll get some magic. That'd be a pretty cool Easter egg, I think. Some. It doesn't even have to be useful. Just some useless bit of magic as a reference to chrono trigger. Now we're able to just run, there are only the two ghosts that we encounter getting down to the lower area, so we don't have to equip any curses. We can just run past those two ghosts. Alright. Pardon me. We're down. Just like that. Hello. So nice. 
Do I want to be going this way? You know what? Why not? Let's see what's up this way. I hear you. Okay. Oh, there's a ghost too. Alright, well, Dark Wraith is faster than Ghost. Oh, you kick? You kicked again! There we go. Alright. Well, I guess I'll do that since there's a ghost. Darn. Just a chunk. I mean, chunks are still useful. I shouldn't be saying darn. Alright, ghost. Get out here. Ghosty. Where are you at, ghosty? There you are. go. Alright. So this guy is basically their only purpose is to lower the, dur the, the durability armor. And you don't want that. So I'm going to do my best to just not get hit by anything they do hasn't worked out so far. Right, this should be it. There. Alright. 5,000 souls for it, which is pretty good. Okay, and I think there are a few more dark raids. Yep. <laughs> As if on cue. Too early. Roll. Man. I guess I need to up my poise or something. Because uh, not being able to roll after that first hit is what killed me last time. Any more dark wraiths around? Any more ghosts around? Is this chest. It doesn't look quite right. So let's just wait a second here. You know, why do we need to wait? I can just attack it. Oh! It's actually a chest. With a chunk. Just with a chunk. Alright, what's out here? Oh! There's the uh, boss door. Can't do anything there though because we don't have the uh, the uh, item we need from that other boss. But that's how you get to the boss door. You drop down into that pool, you go up the stairs through the building, and you're there. Alright, I don't know if this drop will kill me, but there are souls. Um, I wonder if I can go through this area backwards. Like, do I have to drop down? Um, like, do I have to drop down to where the area started? Or can I kind of bypass that? if I go this way. I don't know. But we'll find out. Dark Wraith? Alright. I mean, that move wouldn't have done anything to me anyway, because I don't have any humanity. But that move steals your humanity. So there's that. I want to see if I can go around. Maybe come at the area from the other direction. Oh, 
looks like that's a yes. Hello? Any dark rates in here? I believe there are. I hear you. Yep. Alright. There you go. Here, I believe. Yeah, right here. Oh! <laughs> That's another reason to not get hit by that thing. It slimes you. Ouch! So you don't necessarily need to parry them, but it feels so good parrying. Hello, explodey head. Oh, okay. You got some reach, huh? Just behind you. Can you do anything? Oh jeez, you can summon a Dark Wraith. <laughs> Hello. There we go. And it's also a lot quicker to parry them, because you can get right back to uh, what you were doing before. In this case, killing a giant slime monster. Chunk. Dark wraiths around. Hello? Oh. Humanity. It's useful. Elevator. Is this a shortcut? Do I smell a shortcut? Hello! I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave. Don't mind me. <laughs> Alright, well that shortcut's active at least, and I believe that's the one that's uh, in that first building that we came to. It's up here. Is this what I want? I'm gonna do this just to be safe. No, this feels like a ghost area. Right? No ghosts? What about over here? Okay... I'm a little confused. Mainly because I have no idea where I am. That's that door we saw when we first uh, entered this building. Okay. Here? Ah, yes! There! Alright. That is what we wanted. Awesome. So now we can... Bring this to Andre, and you know what? Let's just let's just get out of here. Uh, this episode's actually running a little long, I think, but we're gonna bring this to Andre and start to upgrade our Ujigatana past plus ten. Uh, we got a couple more chunks too, so I think we might even be able to bring it to away. Will we be able to? I'm not sure. I think 11 is 1, 12 is 1, 13 2, 14 2, or is 14 3? Where we have 8. Maybe it's 1, 2, 2, 3. I'm not sure. But, let's find out. Alright. 
and with this we will actually be able to take on the uh, wolf so yay <laughs> And we might just go back to being an Uchigatana only. Or at the very least, switching between the two. Hey there, Andre. Check it out. Well, Violet Lady. That's a brilliant ember you've got there. For all my years in the trade, that might be the finest. I use it very well. You leave. Have it. Thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. Right? Yes. Plus 11. Yay! And now let's take it. Hold on. The ghost blade requires twinkling? Same with the jagged? That's interesting. Right? Go. Oh, awesome. We can bring it all the way up. Yes. Strongest weapon achievement. Go get yourself neither. Right. And now it should actually be better than this in every way. Well, actually, its damage is lower. 227, but only by two points. But the uh, scaling is a lot better, 148 against 81. So yeah, we're going to go back to the Uchigatana here. And in the next episode, we will take on uh, Sith, Great Grey Wolf. Uh, so th thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit like. If you like my commentary or gameplay, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.